So now let's explore the interface of Google Sheets. So to do that, you can see that I'm already on the home page of Google Sheets and I'm going to go around and then click on blank right here. So once I do that, a new Google Sheet is here. I'm just going to turn this into full screen right here so that you can focus upon uh, the application. So here you can see on the top, there's the name. So right now by default, uh, the name of the sheet is untitled. So you can just rename it out by just typing in a name right here. So I'm just going to say interface right here. And then there you go. The file has been renamed and it has been automatically saved to the drive. So on the top, you have the menu bar like file, edit, view, where there are a lot of functions that you can choose from. And over here, there is formatting tools and redo and undo printing tools, as you can see right here. So the way Google Sheet actually works is in cells. So uh, the, uh, the rows, as you can see, there's rows and columns. So the column are marked as alphabet. So there's A, B, C column right here. And then um, the uh, uh, rows are in numbers. So there's row number one, two, three, and so forth. So if I were to select this, then this is uh, D5 cell, that is, it is the D column and uh, 5 row. If I were to click here, it's K23, uh, which actually shows up right here. And I can even go over there and type in. So let's say I want to select D5, press enter, it goes to D5 right here. So that is how you work around with this. And then to add in details, you add in details onto the cells. And all the details as you select shows up over here on the formula bar. So this is the formula bar where you add in many formulas in order to do calculations and so forth. So on the top right hand side, there's the comment section and there's the share section right here. And you have access to your Google account on the top right as well. And on the bottom, you have the explorer right here. You have uh, the navigation uh, bars right here, which you can click and drag to see all the things around. On the bottom, you can see that there's all seats and there's add seat. You can add in multiple seats right here and even the rename, uh, rename the seats according to how you like it. You can rearrange the seats as well and work with multiple seats at the same time. So what you do is you keep on adding data and then you keep on calculating, you keep on formatting, and that is how you work around in Google Seats. And in further lessons, we're going to explore the major features of Google Seats so that you can comfortably work with it. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.